We've got a riddle for you. What's got brown fur, quills, a pouch, a beak, lays eggs, and has a four-headed uh, member? Sounds made up, right? Well, in reality, it's more of a mashup. In case you've never heard of them, please allow us to introduce you to the short-beaked echidna. This fantastical looking little character can be found all over Australia and New Guinea. Its closest relative happens to be the more well-known but equally strange duck-billed platypus. These two oddballs happen to be the only egg-laying mammals on Earth. But unlike its cousin, who mainly hangs out in freshwater habitats, the echidna is more the globe-trotting nomadic type. These guys follow the food, and since their diet mainly consists of ants and termites, the world is their oyster. Mmm, diner. Open 24-7. Now, the discovery of an animal like this begs a few questions, naturally. The most common one, according to Google search, is, why do echidnas have a four-headed mating organ? Well, its function is actually quite sophisticated. The male echidna uses only two of those heads at a time, to fit into the female's two reproductive canals, and every other time they mate, those sets of heads alternate. Researchers think this mating technique helps their little swimmers stay strong and competitive. Swim, fellas! Swim! These guys are built to survive and live long lives, up to 50 years in captivity and only slightly less in the wild. How? Well, they also happen to have the lowest body temperature of any mammal. While we humans function at an average of 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, echidnas operate at 89 degrees. 89! Man, that's so cool. What about that prickly exterior? Well, you might call it their super survival shield against predators. I mean, who would want to take a bite out of that? Ouch. And with their bodies protected, their brains go to work. Echidnas have unusually big brains. And the biggest part of their brains is the neocortex. Sound familiar? It should. It's the same brain bits we people use for higher level cognition. The thinky thinky parts, if you will. The neocortex makes up three quarters of our brain. For echidnas, it makes up half. <laughs> yeah, they've got a lot going on. So much so that, just like us, when they sleep, they experience rapid eye movement. Yeah, REM sleep. So there's a good chance that they too can dream. We kid you not. Ah, the beautiful, brilliant result of 15 million years of evolution. Survival on this planet just doesn't get any weirder. <laughs>